Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using a whole bunch of new-ish uh, drugstore products and other drugstore products that I have that I have used before or haven't used before. It's mostly e.l.f. products but it's a lot of stuff that I picked up within the last few months that I noticed that was new in the drugstore world I guess you could say. And I'm going to do a pretty natural simple look today so if you'd like to see me use some new drugstore products. Just keep watching. All right, so the first thing that I have is the Elf Luminous Putty Primer. And I've tried the original Poreless Putty Primer, and I like that one a lot, so I'm hoping I'll like this one too. It's like yellowish. I don't usually go for hydrating primers because I have really oily skin, but we'll see. Oh, whoa, it is luminous. It's it's glittery. I've never used a primer like this before. It's it's glittery. Like actual little sparkle pieces. I did already start by doing my eyebrows. I just used my normal uh, Essence eyebrow pencil. So it's glittery, like there's glitter all over my face. I don't know how much that's gonna do for my overall makeup because I'm putting foundation over it. I didn't know it was gonna be glittery. I didn't think that that's what they meant by luminous. All right, well, I'm now going to take my beauty blender instead of my mold, instead of my, <laughs> instead of my Morphe sponge today, just to switch it up a little bit. And I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. It's in the shade 30, 304 Natural Buff. And I think if I remember correctly, I really like this foundation. The only thing is because it's full coverage, it's going to cover up the luminous of the primer. The primer isn't all that tacky. I kind of forgot how this foundation performed, but it is good. The only thing I don't like about doing my eyebrows first is I'm always scared to mess them up and I'm scared to get close to them. So I feel like the foundation doesn't ever cover close to my eyebrows. Look at how good this foundation is, seriously. I feel like right now it's a really good time to be a creator or a YouTuber or people that work on the internet because everybody's home really. I mean, I have a regular job and I'm not allowed to stay home. Like I have to be there because of the line of work that I'm in. I feel like it's a really good time to be doing this and I really hope people enjoy my videos. I think every time I wear this foundation, I am like very pleasantly surprised because I forget how any of the foundations I have work except for like two of them because they're the two I use. All right, for my concealer, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Light Pink. Nope, Light Peach. And I also use this to carve out my, the underneath of my eyebrows just to clean those up. And they say that the Camel Concealer Sponge is best with our Camo Concealers. This sponge is very, very soft. We'll see how it works. It is a really nice shape to get into these areas that I'm trying to get into right now. So I really like that. So far this concealer is laying down really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and put it underneath my eyes and see how that works. This sponge is so soft, I can't get over how soft it is. So far just undoing this eye and not this eye, you can see it actually really brightened up that area. I'm gonna go with my Cody Air Spun Powder and just set that right away with the other side of the sponge. I really like the way that my under eye is looking right now. I'll do the other side. Wow, that really brightened up my under eye area. And I'm continuing to use this sponge just because it's so soft. Definitely worth it. And it's like super cheap. I think it was like five or six dollars. For my bronzer, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. You guys have seen this on my channel before. This is nothing new. I do enjoy this. It's very, it was very cheap actually. I got it on clearance. All right, I'm gonna go into one of my older favorites, the Wet n Wild Keep It Peachy Blush. I haven't used this in a while. Oh, my air conditioning's been on this whole time. Ugh. I apologize for the air conditioning sound. I usually like tune it out so I don't notice it. I think I'm actually gonna layer this Keep It Peachy color with another color. I'm gonna go in with the pearlescent pink just to pink it up a little bit. For my highlight, I'm gonna go in with another new product and it's the Hello Halo Blush Lighter Duo. And I'm gonna go in with my highlighting brush into this peachy side. I'll use this over the blush, and I think this color actually complements the blush colors that I put together really nicely. I also kind of want to go into that this one too, on top of that, to just top that off. Ooh, 
Ooh, yes, Wet n Wild, what? Wow, I just really tapped it in there and so much comes off. I honestly love Wet n Wild because it's so cheap and a lot of their products are so good. I have a lot of Wet n Wild products, like a lot is an understatement. Okay, this is looking so pretty. Now that my face is all done, I'm gonna go in with the eyes. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. putty eye primer. I'm gonna go in with a very simple eye look today, which I very, very rarely do. So this is a treat for certain people. After using this eye primer a decent amount of times, I've realized that this is not a vibe. Like this is not, I don't think I like it. I thought I did for a little while. Like it's not, it just makes things patchy. Like, not the eyeshadow on top of it, but like underneath. I had my primer and all of my base makeup underneath it. It just, I don't know what this does to that to make it not cute, but definitely does something. Maybe I got a bad one that looks kind of dried out now. I don't know. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm going to go into the e.l.f. new bite-sized eyeshadow palettes. And I got the one in Rosewater because it seemed to call me more than any of the other ones. Uh, the other ones were very, very nude. This is like a pinky nude. So my new favorite transition shade or like big fluffy crease shade brush is the Morphe Jeffree Star JS9 brush. It's super fluffy and it tapers in. So it really hits the crease nicely. And I'm going to go in with that matte shade, the only matte shade in there for my crease shade. It's actually not as pink as I wanted it to be which is really sad because I really don't do good with these kinds of looks. A natural beige eye look. So in the pan, it looks a little bit of a different color than it does on the eye. I won't be using this palette all that much, but for somebody that likes more natural colors or is just starting out, someone like that may like this a lot more than I do. I'd also just like to say that I really hope everybody is staying safe and healthy during what's been happening. Make sure you wash your hands and everything. I know that everybody keeps saying that, but like, it's really important. Hand sanitizer is not gonna save you. I'm really disappointed that this isn't as pink as I wanted it to be. I'm gonna go in with my Naked 2 palette brush, the flat one I always use for shimmer shades. And I'm gonna go in with this shade here to start out. Oh wow, that, wow, that covers the brush very fast. Wow, that, I just wanted a little bit. First of all, Fallout Central. The Fallout is real with this one, but oh my god. That shine was so easy. I just did not expect that to perform that way. So definitely go in gently into these. Because, well, now that I'm amazed by that one, I'm going to go in with that next darker shimmer shade here. I don't want to lift it up too much because there's so much stuff coming out of that one there because I really dug in there because I didn't think it was going to be that much but this one is definitely a more pinky shade I almost never do looks like this because I just don't specialize in it I feel like every time I do a more natural look I just I hate it so that's why you guys never see me really doing this it's just not my vibe it's not my scene really it's actually a really cute natural look like I'm not super disappointed about it I'm gonna take that matte shade again and I'm just gonna run it under here for my brow bone highlight, I'm actually going to go into that blush lighter that I was using before. I'm going to take my Morphe M321 brush, and I'm going to go into the darker peachy side first and layer the highlight. And now I'm going to go in with that really light shade that really makes it pop. I'm also going to go into the inner corner with the lighter shade. Final thoughts on this little bite-sized eyeshadow. It's so cute. would be really easy to travel with. I didn't use this shade here because I don't normally gravitate towards darker shades, but I'm sure you could make a really nice smoky eye with that. So I'm really happy about this one. I'm going to go in with my Essence Brow Gel like I always do. All right, so I also got a L'Oreal Paris Rose Gold Eyeliner. Now I'm really not sure how I feel about this product. When I first saw it, I was like, ooh, that's really cool. But at the same time, it kind of scares me a little. It's the Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and try to line my eyes with this and see how that goes. Kinda nervous. Definitely shows up. So this is looking really cute. I'm going to attempt to do eyelashes today. I don't do them very often. 
I'm gonna be using the Kiss 100% Natural Hair True Volume Bumped Up Effect eyelashes. Yes. Putting the glue on there. Yeah, well, that glue does its thing. I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm gonna put on a very thin coat of my MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara because if I put too much on, I can't see where to stick the lashes. This eyelash curler actually hates me. Lashes really make a look pop, but at the same time, natural lashes are very nice as well. Now I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. Can't forget about those guys. Now for the lips. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Essence Color Boost Mad About Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wanna Play. All right, so this actually came out way better than I thought it was gonna come out because like of so many different reasons. You can't really see the liner that I did because of the lashes, but maybe next time I'll try to do a wing and see how that looks. So let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see more natural looks or more not natural looks. Like, let me know what you guys like best because I think I actually like it this time. I really like almost all of the products that I use. Like I said, with the eye, the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer, I'm like, not a fan of it doesn't do bad once you've put eyeshadow on top of it but beforehand it like takes off the makeup that's underneath and it's it reacts very weirdly with the rest of the makeup that i put on thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate all of your support comment down below what you liked most and like the video if you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when i put out more videos i'm putting out videos every single wednesday and it's all about makeup, obviously. Sometimes it's reviews, sometimes it's tutorials. Whatever you guys would like. Bye!